a word bankrupt. Whenever you come to the house of God, you expect to hear from God. The book of Genesis chapter number 3 and verse 17. Let's remain seated. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. And in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Let us also look at chapter 4 and verse 11. And now art thou cast from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thine hand. Now we are going to be looking once again into this uh, this topic um, the bloodline cases and we want to further investigate what really is happening in our lives and in our families and in different areas of our lives. Cases are negative declarations upon people, upon places, and upon objects and even upon animals. Cases are spoken into existence. For one to be cursed there is need for someone to speak it. For one to have a blessing, there is also need for someone to speak the blessing. The Bible teaches us that each time God blessed he said and he blessed them and he said and he blessed it and he said cases are transferred by words when people speak 
someone is getting cursed or someone is getting blessed. It is very important for us to always mind what is being said. To us or about us by certain people in our lives. Places were created even before people were created. God created the heavens and he also created the earth. But Genesis chapter 1 gives us a record of the earth that was now out of form which was now void which was now under a curse. And there was darkness upon the face of the deep. And the waters were covering the entire globe. And God spoke light into existence. Because there was darkness prevailing over the earth. We don't have the record where darkness was created in chapter 1 of the book of Genesis. But we all know that it was created by God in some other chapters that we don't have. We have got no record as to when and how God created the waters. But we are all aware that it was created by God. But not in Genesis chapter 1. So already right at the introduction where we see God creating earth, we have certain things already in existence. But the earth was without form. Which means you and I need to understand that when we read the book of Genesis chapter 1 and we hear that the earth was without form. It means you are not looking at the creation of the earth. Because already there is earth and it is without form. Now when people begin to look at uh, sin, they think that when Adam ate from the forbidden tree, something which God warned him against. We think that was the first sin to be committed. But I believe that Adam was created in a cursed environment. There was a curse way before Adam sinned. Because Lucifer fell before Adam was created. Now, so we are supposed to talk about a different sin altogether, which was not committed by you, which was not committed by our forefathers, but there was somebody in a heavenly body who disobeyed God 
And the first sin that he committed was not even pride. The first sin that I believe he committed was underestimating the power of God. Because through pride, that is when we hear that he wanted to also elevate himself and to be above the mountains and to be above the stars of the heavens. That was as a result of pride. But that pride was birthed by misunderstanding God and underestimating his abilities. And underestimating somebody is one of the most common sins that people are committing nowadays. And until today, the devil has that problem. When he looks at you, he underestimates you. He's not aware of what you can do. The impact that you can cause in his kingdom. And that's the only reason why he touches you every day. He underestimates the power that was given to you by God. He doesn't believe in that. So he rebelled against God. He undermined God. And then from that level of ignorance, pride was born. And then all of us, we know the story. How he was chased from heaven because now there was no more place for him. Not because God did not want him in heaven, but because God did not want sin in heaven and sin was in him the same thing that we see happening when finally people are placed in a very uncomfortable place called hell what God really wanted to put in hell was not people but sin but because people have chosen to contain the thing that God hates the most. Now, we have the devil now falling from the heavens. He is now down here. And it wasn't just him. I will get into more details on Sunday. It wasn't just him alone rebelling against God. There was other creatures also that joined him and supported him. One third of the angels in heaven that knew God to be a powerful God believed The devil. He managed, Satan managed to convince one third of the heavenly hosts that there is something wrong with God. And they believed him. When people rebel against you, it is not proof that you have less anointing. It is proof that they don't understand the anointing that you have. Because if less anointing causes people to rebel against other people, then explain to me how with the power that God has, and yet the devil still managed to rebel against such a powerful God. 
Why? Because he did not have a revelation of the power of God. And also, looking into history, God had not chased anyone from heaven before. So because he had not done that, according to Lucifer, God did not have the ability to chase anyone. So they measure you based on what you have done, not based on what you can do. So he's saying to himself, now that God has never done this before, it means he can't do it. When Lucifer fell, God was not satisfied. There was need for God again to release his anger upon the planet and he destroyed his first creation with a flood before Adam was formed. And the killing of the creation is proof that God is angry and death is taking place already on earth before Adam was created. He killed everything. I'll give you scriptures. I've given them to you before Jeremiah. When God is destroying, he's busy destroying everything because he's not happy with what people have done. Mark that word, people, what people had done. So now Adam, we see him coming right after the flood and God is commanding the waters to be divided and the gathering of the waters, we see that happening and he, he calls them seas and, and, and oceans. And all that water that we are seeing was as a result of a flood and God wanted to kill something and he was successful in killing and destroying the creation that was on earth and all the vegetation. Now the earth because of God's anger was without form. Now Genesis chapter 1, God is coming back now to restore earth. And now he wants to create another creature different from the previous one because this one now he is saying let us make this man in our own, unlike the first one, in our own image and in our own likeness. So were there people before Adam who talk about that on Sunday? But he's saying this time around, it was not his first time. But he's saying, maybe they did me wrong because of the image and the likeness that they had. Let me make men in my own image and in our own likeness and let them have dominion like us. Now, at this point, earth is already under a curse. Something had already died on earth. And then God made the garden And he took the man that he formed out of the dust, the cursed dust of the ground. And he took the man, that's why he wasn't even perfect right from the onset. 